Okay, hello and welcome. I hope everyone's doing well. I'm doing pretty good. Let's uh, continue with Blood Omen. We may be able to finish it this session? I feel like we're getting rather close to the end. We're up to this place. The door maker's house? Something like that. Let's see, where are we? Yeah, we're up here. Yeah. Elzebir the door maker, who... What's the plot exactly? The king of Willendorf, uh, daughter was ill, and he... asked someone to heal her, and this door maker came and I'm not entirely sure whether he, like, cursed her to put her asleep, or turned her into a doll. <laughs> Either case, the king's daughter is lying there in bed, not move, not responding. So, I guess we've come up here to, uh, uh, to defeat the doll maker. Not, not because of any, like, real sense of justice, but because the king promised, you know, his, uh, his, uh, his crown and the kingdom, uh, for, uh, saving his daughter. So, hey, we get a kingdom out of it. Let's, uh, <laughs> it sounds like a pretty good deal. Okay, I don't know whether this person's actually related to the, t um, pillars. They might be. Can't go in there. Oh. Ow! Right. Yeah, they throw, like, needles at you, which have a lot of knockback. <laughs> There's probably not going to be much blood in here. Oh, okay. Uh, I have to remember the keys. Yeah. Hold up. Okay, good. Uh, did that do what I needed it to do? Hmm. Ow. Well, that opened up here. His shot shouldn't be able to go through the walls like that. <sighs> I can't even see what he's shoot what he's firing there. It's nice that there's people strung up on the walls. I wonder what those bear steels are. Do they explode when they get close to me? You can actually move around while swinging your sword. Hey, Victor! Interesting. Okay, that's a button. Uh, 
Uh. Oh, yeah, that's where I went. Yep. Over here then? This area is really showing off the uh, lighting which they, they mentioned in the game. All the different colours. succeeded <laughs> I failed successfully Accidentally quit out of the game. Oh man. Well, we weren't that far. Oh, I press escape to get out of the menu and then I press enter because it and it de for defaults on to quit. I haven't had that problem before. Sigh. Okay, well, let's go do that again. <laughs> I did it again. <laughs> Huh, okay. Uh, the bears just explode when you possess them. Can I drink the spirit from these? <laughs> Even the bears are ghosts. Save Victor!
now. Okay, there we go. <laughs> now, in case that happens again, let's uh, go save. Thank you. Give me item. Ugh. Oh, you're one of those other enemies. I forget what they are. Well, I don't know what the name for the enemies are, but... I thought the bear might have drained my mana a lot, but I don't think so. <laughs> okay. Good. And now the central door's open. Okay. Let's save again. <clears throat> and see what's up here. A health file. Hmm. Barrels. Okay. And a door which I can't open. How the... Oh, hang on. I feel like a lot of these puzzles which you come across the first time you see them is more to say, it's more to teach the player, hey, you can do this. By putting you in a position where it's like, you have to solve this and then it's going to be used in the next area or something. like how I had to press one of those buttons on the wall to open the door which was right next to it. It's sort of like, it feels like the game developers going, hey, this is what a button looks like in this area. Just to make sure that you uh, know that. Attacking in the wolf form just doesn't seem very like a good idea. <laughs> it doesn't seem like its damage has increased as the enemies have gotten tougher.
Ah, uh, hello. Thank you. Uh, okay, that loops back around there. So what's that there? Can't open that, okay. There's a save point here. Can I open that other door now? Uh, there's a... Switch up there. Well... Let me just burn this person's, uh, ghost. I get some more magic. <laughs> slope, slope, slope. Okay, cool. And I'm going to save after that. I'm wondering whether if I push that switch to the north of me, it's going to open the door. And because the, uh... This switch here opens this door... That will give me another route around. Well, oh, hang on. Save Victor! I pressed Windows key. Ow. to do with that? No. I mean, it doesn't look like on the map it's changed. Hello! Welcome, welcome. Perhaps he heals better than Kane. I haven't played the other ones in the series. So I wouldn't know. No, that door's not open. Is there another switch around here which I'm missing? Unless that switch just opens up when I go through the area downstairs. That could be it. I've turned the light on. Oh, oh I want you to jump over the barrel. Nope. Okay, never mind. We will go downstairs. Or go this way, rather. Elzevir, I have come for the soul. So, Otmar sent you to kill me, eh? I can smell him on you. Or is that the stench of the grave? Okay then. Mm. Dollmaker, I have no time for these games. The soul is mine! I earned it! Otmar 
gave it to me! Then you shall earn it with blood. You shall not have it! Mine! 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 <laughs> well... Farewell, my love. I was lucky to have made you. You look dead. Ow. Oh, there we go. What an odd little man. Now, to find the soul. His head popped right off. Well, there's a bed here. Elsevier imprisoned the girl's soul in a small fabric doll. The old man's intentions, I shall never know. Hmm. Okay. Well, whatever it may be, I don't think it really concerns us that much, does it? <laughs> now, is that door open, which I was trying to get through before? Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, neat music, neat theme, very short level. Uh, I guess let's go back to, uh, Willendorf. Yeah, let's watch this again. These flyovers are really like the only depiction of the land which we get other than the maps and what we see walking around. I've come for your kingdom. Uh, first, I'm a might peckish. No, don't quit. Vay Victus! Vay Victus! Vay Victus! Uh, yeah, we just have to go straight up. Hey, Victor! <laughs> Once again, I accidentally pressed the Windows key. Perfectly in sync. Vay Victus! Vay Victus! Hello. Come on. Vay Victus! There we go. I entered the court with the doll maker's head in one hand and the doll containing the girl's soul in the other. I placed them both before the king and watched his eyes catch fire. With the doll in their possession, the court's sorcerers could restore his daughter's soul. I do not know that I can thank you enough, warrior. My kingdom is but a small price to pay for my daughter's life. Willendorf is yours if you wish it. It is not your kingdom I desire, but your army, Otmar. 
I require troops to vanquish the horde that descends upon us from the north. Very well. Courtiers, fetch me my armor and mace. There is war to be waged! Okay, then. I would have taken the kingdom as well, but... Uh... <laughs> The scourge of Nosgoth is upon us, friends. We shall die today as heroes, lest we live tomorrow as slaves. Ready thine arms for Nosgoth! <laughs> In the distance I saw the Nemesis armies march forward, a black tide that would soon wash over the armies of the Hope. Hey, give it how it's going. Oh, those early, early 3D graphics. They're endearing, in a way. No! Ah! <laughs> They're killing all of our troops. Oh, well. Vey Victus! <laughs> Vey Victus! What have we got? Right, we decided to uh, wage this war in the middle of a forest. Oh, they're just going to spawn out of everywhere. Okay. Apparently we bought some seed machines around. <laughs> Don't go killing my lunch. <laughs> PS1 era jank as hell. The PC had its fair share of... Uh, they picked us! of uh, cutscenes which look like that. I remember a few of them. <laughs> I need to do the Alone in the Dark game. One, two, one, and uh, possibly two and three. Who put these spikes in the middle of the field? It's very rude. Just bump into them and hurt myself. They came at me in throngs. No fervor as strong as that inspired by a madman. The Nemesis armies were fierce and showed no signs of subsiding. Raven Lost Wars were pretty bad at times. I think <laughs> they focus a lot more on the landscape than the characters in that one. In this one, they've got a lot of characters, which <laughs> it doesn't work as well when you're looking at a low poly character <laughs> mouthing along with lines. But I think Raven Lost weren't the characters done with like 2D. And then the landscapes for 3D. <laughs> Ow. Well, whatever. I sated my thirst on warriors of Horde and Hope alike. The dying relinquishing their final moments to give me strength. Sure. Do I have an actual goal in this or do I just have to travel north? Probably just north. Went out trying to get the monk through hell, so he went ahead and recorded a run as a sorcerer just to enjoy bullying things. Yeah, need a bit of a break for that. Again, I don't think I've ever played as the monk in uh, Diablo 1. The tides turned with Otmar's death. I watched as the remaining survivors of the armies of hope fled to the safety of the forest. Oh, apparently the he battle died. had decided its victor. The fate of Nosgoth now lay in the Nemesis' hands. Okay then. <laughs> well, apparently he died. Ravenloft was were pretty bad at times. <laughs> The characters were fine, but the 3D section, 3D stuff was bad. Yeah. They Victor! Victor! Oh, you don't get to kill me. Okay. No. That's a lot of bodies. Ow. 
This game's interesting in that, in that it doesn't shy away from just... Quite brutal for the era, really. <laughs> I don't know if I was supposed to do something during that, but... At once the battlefield was gone. Where the ground was caked with blood and dirt, there was lush greenery. Where chaos reigned only moments before, this damning calm prevailed. Alas, it seemed I was stranded here. The time-streaming device lay in pieces at my feet. Huh, okay. Did we have all the parts of that? I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Would you stand idle as vermin destroy your crops? No! Has your house burned? No! Will you allow this evil to continue? No! Will the wickedness end? Yes! Do you believe? Yes! yes! Then take me to your king so that I can prepare you for the onslaught. Okay, I am rather more lost on what's happening than I was before. We've gone like back in time or to another time period and we're seeing, I guess, maybe scenes of what's going on at the moment where we were just where we just were. The game's got an interesting story. But its way of showing things is, uh, at least, at least for me, it's not really enough. This feels familiar. <laughs> oh. Wibbly wobbly time shenanigans. It feels like it. <laughs> I mean, the game hasn't really been complicated enough for, like, multiple paths and all that. So, I, I don't, I don't think the game's expecting anything from me other than just push forward. Oh, I think we've gone back in time to before the army started marching south. So, yeah, we can uh, stop things before they become too big of a threat. Because last time we were here, this place was all... Everyone here was dead. I see I'm armed with the Bonconator 2000. It's the best for... Uh, for when you're hungry. And also for opening, opening barrels. <laughs> and for dealing with tough foes. If they're human, then you can drink from them. It just takes two hits and they get stunned. It doesn't matter how many hit points they have. So even unlike the flaming sword. Oh. Uh, it can deal with them a bit faster sometimes. I guess I could try a disguise. They probably won't have anything to say. Oh, they're going to be upset at me because I was undisguised. Nope. They just have nothing to say. Okay, never mind. 
Maybe I can learn a bit more if I talk to them. A lot of the times I've talked to people, they've just had generic lines to say, so... Or they say nothing at all. I won't keep it on. It drains my mana while I've got it on. Okay, is there any other houses? There's one up there. Okay, there's a path. Okay, there's just one path. Barrel kill. <laughs> okay, let's go up this way. Ah, yeah, okay. They're building the statue. Ah, so it seemed I was in the land of William the Just. Fifty years before the battle I had just escaped would take place. Right, okay. He's piecing it together about as slowly as I was. Vain that makes Victus! me feel better. Vain Victus! <laughs> I thought I was going to have to collect more parts of that time device thingy, but uh, apparently I had the whole thing. Whatever. What have we got here? Uh, house up there, house there. There's a house down there. What's in here? Nothing. Maybe people who will talk to me? No? Okay. I'm assuming that going in and out of a building is enough to uh, stop them from uh, being hostile to me. Come on. Vain <laughs> <Bay> Victus! Vain <laughs> 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 Beds. Okay. Uh. 
Oh, I guess that was the uh, castle which we just saw in the cutscene. Join me, and you shall live in a little Save straw hut. Victor! <laughs> <Save> Victor! <laughs> <laughs> oh, they kicked my ass right out. <laughs> Kick my butt back to town. <laughs> they vict us! <laughs> they vict us! <laughs> Victus! Vay Victus! Vay Victus! Come on, hit him. Vay Victus! Victus! Thank you, game. Vay Victus! No Scotty a dream to live in a little straw hut with white picket fence. Vay Victus! And not to die to one of the many, many, uh, <laughs> Creatures which have them on their hit list in this area, it seems. <laughs> like, there are so many things here that... Babe, the average up! person's life seems like it would be pretty, pretty miserable. And not just because of the giant invading armies, it's just... <laughs> The stronghold of William the Just. It was time for me to pay a visit to he who would become the nemesis and force Nosgoth on its knees. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, he left his gate open. Hey, Victor! Hey, Victor! Come on. Stun them. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Don't have time to deal with you all. Bay Victus. Okay, and you too. <laughs> they vict us! Okay, what have we got here? Main hall over there. <laughs> they vict us! A mana orb. Ow. I don't know if I need that just yet. Water, eh? Okay. Part of it. Okay. Uh. <sighs> hmm. Is that something? No. Ow, ow.
Okay. Can I go through the door? No. Oh. That is a lever. All these people sitting in water. It's uh very rude. Save and I probably shouldn't have gotten that matter. Or not. Maybe I can get it after this. Nodsgoth is a dying world. This is in essence a post-apocalyptic world, though they never was a an apocalypse, just a slow decay. You know, your lives have been hard, average Nodsgoth citizen, but don't worry, it will get much worse. Worse. Uh, okay. Yeah, aside from the whole plot in this one being about those pillars, I don't really know... <coughs> Like the full point of them and all. Save Victus! Save Victus! Save Victus! Other than a kind of representative of guardians of the place, and they somehow maintain the balance of the area of the, of the world, but I can see that uh, going wrong. Save Victus! There's Vave Victus! Vave Victus! Seems like whoever the pillar chooses to the pillars choose to represent them. They don't really do the best of the best of jobs. Okay. Did I actually end up doing what I had to do? Uh, kind of. Looks like I sort of went an alternate route or something. Save Victus! Okay, that did... Oh, right. <laughs> they <evict us! laughs> These guys armored demons, or are they, uh... <laughs> Skeletons? Probably demons. Am I planning on playing the rest of the series? Possibly. Um, so, yeah, like, I can imagine more of the story would be revealed, yes, in the later games. Um, I can't give a definite answer whether I'm going to play with them, but let's just leave it at what this game tells me. And I can speculate based on that. It may be wrong, but hey, that's that's part of the fun. <laughs> I get to uh, guess on what the game has shown me. 
<laughs> they fixed us! I'd be interested in playing Shadow, uh, Soul Reaper, because I remember they that game showing up, being shown around a lot uh, when it came out, so I think I also played a bit of the demo of it. They fixed us! Uh, the later ones? Possibly. I've heard that they're not as good. But. Yes, the, these weapons oh. you've provided will see to that. Uh, uh, pray tell, Mobius, what game do you play? None, my lord. I only wish to aid you in vanquishing your foes. The weapons are but a token of my goodwill. A and the news you bring, a vampire said to slay me? Where did you come upon such knowledge? It is of no consequence, sire. It was only out of concern for your majesty's life. Perhaps, perhaps. Very well, then. You may leave me now, but should I wish to speak to you? I will know, your majesty, and I shall be there in time. Okay. Ooh. Plots and schemes. They fixed us! <laughs> <laughs> they fixed us. <laughs> no, like, I must practice my wall slashes. <coughs> they fixed us. <laughs> Ow! They fixed us! Get juggled around by spike drops. <laughs> they fixed us! <laughs> Okay. <laughs> this is a lot of traps. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> you joined my army. Half of your training is going to be on dodging these traps. <laughs> Or maybe not to training. Those who are able to dodge them, they'll they'll have made the grade. Those who won't, well. They fixed us. <laughs> it weeds out the unworthy. Willing to just sew into traps like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> Willing to just obsessed with traps. <laughs> Willing to just I like them a lot. I like them, okay. <laughs> William the I just think they're neat. <laughs> Ah. Okay, good. 
only the buttons which have skulls on them. <laughs> Hello! How's it going? Currently being bombed. Hey, fixed hey, us! Fixed us! <laughs> oh, good, good, great. Just, just kill them. <laughs> Die. Okay. <laughs> it's getting silly. Cool emotes. <laughs> Thank you. I do like the frog. It's my favorite. It's a uh, frog from uh, the Pool of Radiance strategy uh, RPG game from the SSI. Just likes traps the normal amount. <laughs> yeah. Uh, swords on a giant map of the world. What does this mean? Who can guess? He just likes giant maps. Hey, Victus! <laughs> you see Radiance a few times, don't know if you played it though. I don't know if I recommend it. I enjoyed it. It's an old RPG though, and it's got a lot of issues with it. Mostly in like, you know, ease of use and the UI being a pain. Uh, I played it with a plugin, the All Seeing Eye, which auto mapped dungeons for me and uh, gave me a little uh, heads up of uh, my characters so I could keep tabs on their health without going into inventories and little sprites which danced whenever they went up a level. So that was nice. It works with the others in the uh, series as well. But yeah, I was just <laughs> I was just really taken with the giant frog uh, sprite. So I decided to make it the uh, emote. I should probably play the others in the series. Kibitz was playing the uh, Savage Empire one or something, which was apparently, according to them, a bit of a slog. Lots of uh, shambling mounds and unfun boss fights. I think there's nothing worse than clans. Most bugged hack and slash game ever. Sounds a bit, sounds kind of familiar. Clan or clans? Let me see. Clans. Uh, nineteen ninety nine, I think. Have to be specific because it comes up with what looks like some kind of uh. Oh, that game. Yes, I uh, I saw uh. Ross of Accursed Fards play through that. Um, that was weird. You played it yourself, have you? Interesting. Yeah, it's like poor Diablo 1. I streamed it a while ago. Uh, no, I have not played it. Um, I know of it, though. But, yeah, it's, uh, it's like it tries to be Diablo, but only go going off of the review video I saw of it. Um, it's weirdly balanced. Like, Ross played as the dwarf, and there was, like, not enough healing and not really enough, like, money around the place. But then I think I saw some comments which said that the order of levels was changed from the original release or something so like the starting area was later or i might be getting things wrong there but it, it did seem like something was wrong about it in terms of how like you play through it you can get stuck easily at some point didn't know what to do how to progress further yeah i remember the uh one of the like the caves areas was really big and ross ended up doing this let me link to his video uh this huge map <laughs> of the caves and 
people had I, I, like there was a door which you were supposed to go through and talk to someone but it's really hidden and it leads to I think it led to like a forge or something um I'll have to rewatch the video but yeah it's just It's one of these games where I'd, it would be interesting to see the developers play it and, like, sort of what their idea was on how people would play it. Yeah, here it is. Okay, I'll just link this in chat. Oh. <laughs> if you haven't watched Accursed Farms, I recommend it. It does good videos. Okay. Waste of potential reading. There's another one kind of better, 3D isometric, also around that time. Right. I remember he did another video of like a 3D ARPG. Uh, 3D action, yeah, RPG, ARPG. It was. What was it? Was it this one? It's called Mage. He calls the video. It's called Mage Night Apocalypse. Is that the name of the game, or is that just a description, <laughs> a description of the game, what the game's like? I think it was one of these games which was developed as a multi, as an MMO type game, and then it was made into a single player game, but it wasn't rebalanced for a single player game. Which, uh, I've played, I, I guess we're having a little bit of a break here. I've played one of those myself. Uh, Hellgate London was a game which, uh, was designed to be sort of a MMO ARPG. That is an online experience of a Diablo 2-esque game. Um, but then it was made into a single player game. And, or... Like, it's basically a single-player game now because the servers aren't up anymore, but it's not balanced for single-player. I played it single-player. And I didn't finish it. It gets really sloggy towards the end. Another game, which is like that, which was actually developed as a as an MMO, but then made into a single-player game, is Knights of Amalur. It's Kingdoms of Amalur, which is... I think that was also picked up by another company and tried to be revived a few years ago like hellgate london came back like three or four times <laughs> um but kingdoms of amalur is yeah as i said it was developed as an mmo then it was made into a single player game it plays better uh i never finished it it got repetitive mmo base go out kill so many monsters come back get reward go out kill monsters come back get reward it's the same thing right it gets tedious it's not written as a single player experience it's written as a mmo grind fest i'm fine with that uh in certain circumstances i played through wow enough times uh but yeah it's it's got interesting ideas the story was written by r.a selvator which i like his books i don't really see <laughs> I don't know whether the game benefited from having him write it. I guess... I don't know. He's a good author, but... I don't think it would really make that big of a difference. <laughs> um. Anyway. You play Hellgate once in a while. You recommend Death of a Game Hellgate London review. So sad how marketing bad decisions buried alive the series. The thing is, Hellgate London... When it was first announced, there was this really cool cut um, trailer of the two, like, cyber paladins fighting through hordes of demons. And it looked really neat. And it was like, oh, it's going to be like a... I, I guess it was more like a, what you'd imagine Left for Dead or something being. Just carving through hordes of demons, I guess, like Vermintide or something like that. But and then it's like... It's really Diablo 2-esque. You go from hub to hub with portals between them, doing quests for NPCs with e at each place, with shops, uh, copy-paste dungeons, which look the same, 
There's very little variety in it. And there's this odd conflict between the main story of Hellgate London being extremely bleak end of the world type stuff. And then all the NPCs are like cracking jokes and making bad puns. And they're not the NPCs aren't taking the story seriously. <laughs> it's this weird, like, dichotomy between the two sides of it. Where on the one hand, things are deadly serious. On the other hand, you've got characters which are bemoaning the fact that they've got a demon now stuck to their face. And they can't they can't see how their day could get worse. Like it's a, like it's a minor inconvenience. It's like, oh great, you've got to go and destroy my mind again, I guess. Oh. How could my day get worse? Ex Blizzard Diablo devs. Yeah, that's how I remember it. It was like, it's made by people who worked on Diablo 2. Anyway. Ah, yes, the vampire. Had interesting ideas. Mobius told me you would come. <laughs> <coughs> 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 <laughs> You've got a uh, Soul Reaver as well, do you? <laughs> Hold on a moment. Oh, right. <laughs> Can't use magic when I've uh, got my got my big sword out. Splat. I was actually getting confused between who was the guy. I thought the person who was talking was actually the little old man, but apparently that was the uh, the other dude. Hold on. <laughs> These keys are confusing. It takes me a little while to wrap my head around what I need to do. Okay, there we go. Blah. As his guards rushed to save him, William the Just's blood was already renewing my strength, replacing the life his sword had stolen from my veins. The poor fools come to aid their fallen leader. Let us have some amusement. Okay, let's go back to the bonking, the bonkinator. I have a mighty thirst. Vain <laughs> Victus! It's not working! <coughs> I'm not dead! The heart of darkness. Okay. I'm glad the game didn't crash. Vain Victus! There we go. <laughs> That's what I wanted to happen. A time streaming device. Strange. When coincidence seems too convenient, I prefer to call it fate. What did this cause the time paradox? Hmm. I'm sure things will sort themselves out. With William the Just dead, Mobius's plans have been thwarted. His pawn was removed from the game. Okay. Hey, there's a health file up here now. Oh. Now I just need mana. Ah, 
Ah, they're all ghosts. What have I done? Great. Vey uh. uh. Victus! Good. The wonky hitbox has worked in my uh, benefit there. Oh, thank you. I'm sorry? Who the heck are you? Vey uh. Victus! Uh. Ow! Uh. You come across your greatest challenge yet, peasant with a flaming torch. Vey <laughs> Victus! Vey Victus! Vey Victus! <laughs> Come on, stun them. Vey Victus! Vey Victus! <laughs> Thank you. He was constantly interrupting himself for a second. Vey Victus! Do I need to go through this dungeon again? Bay Victus! I thought it would be a uh, short run to the exit, but. Oh, uh, hang on, I might just need to. Actually, let me have a look. Uh, well, all the traps have stopped. Hey, Victus! Someone's going to come up to me and be like, Cain, you idiot, what have you done? You really should have thought things out before you went and <laughs> killed someone in the past. Like, oh. Okay. Do I look like someone who thinks things through before doing them? If I can't bonk it on the head with my mace and shout Bay Victus in the process, then I don't want to know about it. Bay Victus! Bay Victus! <laughs> Residents with pitchforks? Vey Victus! Oh no, they're not pitchforks, they're like... <laughs> spike clubs or something. Boy, all this time travel sure gets my thirst up in the dander. Uh.
This... This is a different area. Save Victus! Save <laughs> Victus! Hey, nice. Okay, let's go up there. Do I know the legacy of Sorosil? Used to play it on the Amiga. Uh, I never grew up playing games on the Amiga. It was a little bit before my time. I don't think anyone I knew actually had one here. Um, do I know that game? Doesn't sound familiar. Let me have a look. Oh, it's a hero quest game. Oh! Yeah, I've heard of that. Um, I've not played it. I've actually played a bit of hero quest, the, uh, the first one. Um, I think I did that on an Amiga emulator. I like the music for hero quest. It's really good. It's, uh, made off- based off of the, uh, hero quest board game done by, uh, Games Workshop way back in the 80s. It was, uh, quite a popular game from what I understand. But I didn't know anyone who had it. It's basically like a short dungeon crawl uh, in a board game. So. Games had a few different titles then, depending on when it was released. Right, right. Yeah, I don't think I've seen uh, footage of HeroQuest 2 Legend of Sorosil being played. Um, but I have played a bit of the first one. Which, uh... It was pretty good. It's it, it, it was a it was a pretty faithful recreation of the board game, I believe. Uh, the board game's got like randomized dungeons in it. Um, you get like quest cards, I think, and or no, you choose like a quest to go on, and then you set up the dungeon. This is for the board game, based on which quest that is, and you put the monsters in there. And you have to sort of work together to defeat the enemies and loot things and so on. And you build your characters up across multiple games. It's got that aspect to it, which was quite neat. Um, I think I actually have some of the Hero Quest models. I got them in a bunch of old Warhammer uh, models I got way back. I have a bunch of skeletons and some of the heroes. I think there are an expansion for Heroes Quest. There was like a Necromancer expansion or lich expansion for it so it's a bunch of undead as well as some uh, orcs and goblins and Femir. uh and chaos warriors I actually have one right here um this is a unpainted chaos warrior and i have a partially painted Femir warrior here which i was planning on doing like two years ago but i ended up um not getting on with it. <laughs> so he's unpainted. Well, half finished. The best thing about Hero Quest, yes. Yes, I've seen that. <laughs> Broadsword. Oh. Bay Victor! Bay Victor! <laughs> Darkstone was another game you mentioned before. Bay Victus! That sounds familiar as well. <laughs> um. Hold up. <laughs> Darkstone game. Um. That person got buckets of, like, French fries from McDonald's in his inventory. 
Um, I have not played this. It's like a third-person ARPG. Kind of looks like a uh, Dungeon Siege. On the screenshots. But I think a bit earlier. Not as big of a party. Is that actually based off of Dun of uh, Dungeons and Dragons? The trolls, if they're trolls, look very similar. Mm. Similar to Borders Gate and Diablo in gameplay style and themes. Okay. 1999. I have not played that. So the clans, clans and Darkstar were games you played before Diablo 2. <laughs> really going like, ah, oh, these aren't really good. Oh, <laughs> then you play the one which is like, ah, oh, this is, this is how it's supposed to be. Man, I hate our ARPG games. They're all terrible. <laughs> <laughs> That'd still be interesting for some of the ideas of them, I guess. I don't actually know whether Darkstone is a bad game or not. I'm being prematurely judgmental there. So, I apologize. I have not played it myself. I haven't played the clans either, so... I shouldn't judge that game until I have. It's funny seeing all these games now, which, like, at the time, barely anyone would have known about them. And in some ways, they're getting more exposure now than they did back in the day, because people are going through and seeing all these other games and playing them. And it's like, it's it's interesting having, like... They victor! people you know looking at these and analyzing them they picked us many years after the fact they came out <laughs> rather than them just being forgotten i don't think there's really any games which are forgotten now people have been very thorough in scouring for uh games wherever they can be found Oh, hello, you're new. <laughs> Though I still get surprised at things which people are able to find. And there is a game I remember getting for a friend of mine. It wasn't a very good game, mind you. I thought it looked interesting. It turned out it wasn't very good. Um, which I don't think I've ever been able to see someone playing that. <laughs> I don't remember what it's called. I don't remember anything else about it other than it had... I think it was like a adventure game type thing and you started in the house and you went outside and there was like giant termites or something like that i think it had like a cartoony Yay, style to Victor! it don't remember anything else about it this would have been 97 or something i think because I called you back then and asked if you played Diablo 2 and you confused it was clans. I said, was it the one with low brightness? Couldn't see shit. <laughs> there was um a game I played a bit back uh, called Extreme Tactics, which is one I got uh, years ago because... Yeah, one of my Victor! friends had Total Annihilation and I was like, oh, that looks fun. So I went to the store Victor! and I was like, well, they don't have Total Annihilation, but this looks similar to it. Maybe it'll be fun. Total Annihilation, uh, Extreme Tactics is not a very good game. It's adequate. It's nothing special. It's got some interesting ideas with being able to make <laughs> custom units in it. And I did finish it back in the day. So it's not so bad that you can't play it, but it's still, it's kind of just impressively mediocre more than anything else. The cutscene's all right in it. 
Hey, Even though I'm pretty that. sure the cutscenes make up the vast majority of the hey, space taken up that. on the CD. I think the company which made it Extreme Tactics was actually a multimedia company. I guess like making encyclopedias with video footage going along with them or something and then they decided to make a game. Same as music industries, old bands getting recognition because someone famous made a cover. How do I get through here? Oh, right. Buttons. I'm not paying attention. No, I can't press that. Okay. Oh. Part of that. You can see Total Annihilation was extreme tactics resemblance, so you always pick Total Annihilation Kingdoms. I do like Total Annihilation Kingdoms probably more than Total Annihilation. <laughs> it's janky, but it's got a lot of little mechanics in it which I rather enjoy. It just feels like it's got more going on in it than Total Annihilation, which is a very good game. I always like the uh, the uh, four factions in Kingdoms. Babe, Just search Victor! for Extreme Tactics and you found my videos on it. Yes, that was another motivation for me to do a, to do a series on it. I think there was two other videos I found on it. One was an unboxing, and the other one was like a brief amount of footage from the game. So I was like, oh, I can I can cover something other people haven't. Um. And I've actually had a fair few comments on the video about people going, Oh, I remember this game! It, I thought it was better than it actually was. Or I was wondering what the game name of that game I grew up with was. Thank you. Which, that makes me happy. I'm able to uh, help people with their reminiscing of things they played. It's really not that long ago. <laughs> Why is your why is memory so flaky? <laughs> really love zombie undead faction in TA Kingdoms. Tal Talos, Taros, yeah, yeah, they're probably my favourite as well. Um, so they all had pretty good things going on with them. Zorn were interesting in that they were all pretty much. Victus. Uh. Victus. <laughs> They were, that was pretty much like an entire mobile faction. <laughs> Aramon was fun with their long ranged artillery and cannons. And uh, Varuna had interesting units, and their focus on naval was interesting, but sadly, it put them at a disadvantage on, on all the, uh, on all the uh, land maps. I played through TA Kingdoms a few years ago as well. I've not gone through the Iron Plague expansion. Uh, I have it, but I never played Iron... I never Babe finished Iron Plague Victor! myself growing up. It is very hard. Uh, I think I got up to like the fourth or fifth mission in it, and it just... It is... It is a pain. Um, it's quite the jump in difficulty compared to the base game. I should probably go back and try it, but I probably have to practice the level several times, otherwise it's going to be several streams of me trying the same level over again. And I haven't played Total Annihilation. I think Griffin God actually played that a few years ago, but uh, I have not played it myself. I... I found myself once more in the Nosgoth I knew. The carnage from battle was gone. Yet there was something amiss. From the distance, I heard cries. 
and a breeze from the south carried with it the faint odor of vampire blood. Okay. Um, yeah, I have got copies of Total Annihilation, and I think I have it on GOG, uh, but I haven't played through it. Does anything look different? Right, so we've been up there to the land of the Nemesis. It hasn't really, like, revealed it on the map. Neither the, uh, Elzebeer, the Dollmaker's house, completely. The area south of it. I don't really know what areas of the map where we can actually go to or what ones we can't. Oh yeah, well, whatever. Let's head south. I wonder how much more of this there is. I'll just walk through you. would seem the folly fell upon my own shoulders. With their sainted King William dared by my hand, the people of the land were consumed by a hunger all their own for vampire blood. <laughs> now the vampires have become the hunted. The humans, they crave the blood of the vampire. Ugh. Humans only come out during the day. They can enter houses uninvited. They can cross running water. They victor! Holy they items don't do victor! anything against them. <laughs> and they drink blood just because they like it. They don't need to. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so these guys are equipped with dual stakes. <laughs> so you can still kill a human through, by a stake through the heart, or by uh, cutting their head off. So... <laughs> they're not necessarily harder than the vampire in that regard. Oh no, the consequences of my own actions. Cain, probably. As I wandered about more, the shrieking and cheering became more apparent and defined. There was some sort of gathering to the south, for with each cheer, I smelled an outpour of blood. How many damn vampires are there around the place? Like, <laughs> we've come across one other. They just keep to themselves, I guess. Though the other vampire did mention that a whole lot of them were killed, so I guess there's quite a few of them. <laughs> but... <laughs> Wonder if this cane takes the speech I into juice. I make no pretense to justify my killing, yet these vampire hunters would cloak their bloodlust beneath a veil of righteousness. Hypocrites! They would make themselves judge and jury very well then. Let us see how they take to my role as executioner. I am the law. <laughs> yeah, I need to drink blood to live. They don't need to do it. Hey, <laughs> Victor! How they dare they get upset at a vampire going in and killing such and such the just. Their ruler, which they were probably rather happy with. Victor! Victor! <laughs> Are we the baddie? Vey <laughs> Victor! Vey uh. Victor! 
I do like the voice acting in this game. The voice actor for Kane does a great job. The uh, heaviness which is of the lines which he says, it doesn't matter. It, it it's one of those voice actors where the lines are ridiculous and over the top, but it works because he's got the right tone to his voice for it. The other characters have been pretty good as well. I just wish he had more lines to say when he was hitting things in combat. They evict us! The laugh alone is magnificent. It is. <laughs> it's a good thing it's good because you hear it so often. They evict uh. us! They evict us! <laughs> they evict they us! Evict us! S stun them. Thank you. There is that they mechanic of like attacks during the day being weaker than night. They evict us! <laughs> but because I don't really have a choice on when day and night comes around, you just have to have to power through it. And I can't say I've honestly noticed that much of a difference. I guess I have to hit, hit enemies a few more times, but... Mm. I'm more surprised he doesn't immediately turn to ash coming out in the day. It's not like that. That was him. We are free of this unholy scourge! Not yet, my friend. Would you be free of the plague if only one city was cleansed? No! no. Would you spare one wolf in the pack that has devastated your herd? No! Then no. let us destroy them all! Yeah. I just arrived. I liked how he stuck his tongue out. <laughs> is purged of your kind. I had been betrayed. In my haste, I had not realized it before. That sigil on his forehead, the Oracle of Nosgoth, was in fact the time streamer Mobius, and I had followed his advice. How much of my quest was of his design? Willendorf? The Battle of the Last Stand? William the Just? Was this the trap he had fashioned for me? We will send you back to the grave whence you came, vampire. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I liked how what's his name, the vampire, sucked his tongue out as he got his head. I off. have seen oh. the future, Ken. You are not in it. They evict us! <laughs> goes story's getting pretty good right it, it's coming together now he's firing magic bolts fall upon the puppets from the past okay. just hold on a moment I need to uh regenerate my mana I do wish man regenerated a bit faster the only other option is to use that orb, which feels like you're out of bar immediately, but when it went, runs out, you have no mana. They evict us! They evict us! What was that noise? <laughs> oh, they're actually... They evict us! They evict us! They're actually ghosts. <laughs> they evict us! Boing! Ow! He's firing slow bolts at me! How dare he? From the present! 
Are they present? I don't see them. Uh, okay. I will mind control you. Don't work like that. Okay. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, there goes all my mana. And some ages yet to come. Oh, it's me. I got stuck <laughs> in the wall. <laughs> Bang! Victor! Bang! Victor! Well, hold on. Hold on a moment. Hold the phone. To defeat me, you must defeat yourself. Hey, sit still, me. I don't appreciate how my orb of infinite magic ran out because I hit you with that sword. Bay Victus! Bay Victus! I'm hearing myself go, ooh. <laughs> so I must be dealing damage. Bay Victus! <laughs> and then once you start using the orbs, you really have to just keep using them. There we go. Now I defeated myself. Now what? Ironic. By going back in time and altering the past, you turn William the Just into the nemesis. I, you have seen my plan, vampire, as I have seen your destiny. The future says you die. But I am dead. As are you. Mobius's hourglass was the focus of his time streaming magic. Farewell, sorcerer. The sands of time have ceased to flow for you. Well done, Cain. <laughs> Mobius did so love playing the trickster's part. His guise as the oracle served his schemes well. Pity with all his plots he failed to plan for you. Come to me, my undead son. Make haste to the pillars. The stage is set for the grand finale. You will have your vengeance. Okay. Oh. That's usually code for, I'm going to kill you because you've become a threat to my plans. I've gotten too big for our vampiric booties. Well, I hope I get a mana recharge because I am completely out. <laughs>
Oh. You betrayed us, Mortanius. You had Cain killed and turned him into a monster. You set him upon us. It had to be. Nopraptor's insanity poisoned all of our minds. The Circle had failed in its sworn duties. It had to be destroyed. Failed our duties? Idiot! The Circle exists for us. We don't exist for it. Our powers will save or damn Nosgoth at our whim. Stand with us, Mortanius, or die. Then I shall die. If the Circle is to be destroyed, you have to die as well, Necromancer. I admire your cunning, but you will not escape your fate. Nay, I will embrace it, but my death will leave one more to take Princeling. Finish me! Okay. As you say. Man, I have a lot of heart and darknesses. Uh oh. Flash, 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 flash. Hey, Victus! <laughs> chop, chop. <laughs> <laughs> Nope, he's not dead! Round two. <laughs> you can't keep a good necromancer down. <laughs> Blah. That's hurting me. Start. Oh, was he down here? There he is. <laughs> Slice. Oh. Okay. <laughs> you thought yourself a king, but in fact you were a pawn. You have served me well, Cain. <laughs> I serve no one. Indeed. Such narrow vision. Don't you see? My silencing of Ariel and its calculated repercussions is but the first act in my theater of Grand Pignol. You are the tragic hero. Play on, little vampire. Fay Victus. Oh, he dropped cards. Anacroth's magic was contained within the metal of the scales and would eventually be released back into the pillar from whence it came. The scales of Anacroth I lay before the pillar Blah. of states. The pillar accepted its offering. Thus, it was restored. The death orb of Mortanius oh, okay, that's had what given we're the Necromancer <laughs> dominion over the grave. It's a very interesting case. I had thought him the last of the circle, and yet he spoke of another. 
Okay. <laughs> it's very interesting. Before the pillar of death, I lay the orb of Mortanius. Got a <laughs> important business to deal with. The pillar accepted its offering. Thus, it was restored. Okay. Hey, Diablo. <laughs> It's like... No. Uh, yes, save. Uh, save here. I am the last pillar. The only survivor of the Circle of Nine. At my whim, the world will be healed or damned at my whim. Oh, okay, we've got a choice here. Right, well, uh, do we get a second opinion? No. What would people say? I guess I can reload so we can see both, so we can see both of them. Uh Well, let's go with the good ending first. In his life he was unknown, a petty noble. In death he was unknown. Yet by choosing oblivion, he restored balance to the land. Shades cast no shadows. Okay, you are victorious. We killed 1,700 people. Okay. However, uh, I have to echo Mandalore's uh, video there and say, Kane doesn't really sound like the type of person who would make a decision like that. Oh, do we have to fight you again? That's fine. I kill you with like three hits of the soul reaver. It gains Harker three times that day. Yep, no sequels. The world's happy. Everyone wins. The end. Poof. What's the point of me saving? Eh, fine, never mind. Um, if I'm just gonna have to do the fight again anyway. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so we get the choice. Evil ending. Once I embraced my powers, I realized that Vorador was correct. We are gods. Dark gods. And it is our duty to thin the herd. <laughs> Actually get a bit more dialogue with that. Nice. 1,786. Meal 797. 633 mutilations. 32 out of 100 secrets. We proceed to princess. He looks very royal sitting on that throne there. It's fantastic. Okay. That's a lot of extra secrets to find in the game. I'm not going to be 100%ing it. I felt like I'd been fairly thorough. That might be individual items though. Like, like a secret area might include like five cards to find. So. But yeah. Pretty sure Age of Wonders 1 was discovered, was before you discovered Heroes of Might and Magic 2 and 3. I don't think I've played the Age of Wonders series. I think I've got them. But uh, I've played Heroes of Might and Magic 3 a bit on my own, and I played most of five uh, before I started streaming. I should do those sometime. But yeah, that is 
Blood Omen Legacy of Kang. Um... I think I've let my th thoughts of the game be known several times while I've been playing this. Um, I like the music. I like the voice acting in it. The story is interesting. It's certainly started to make a bit more sense towards the end. There's still a lot which I'm not really clear about, and that's more, I think, because it's an entire world with its own lore, which are being fed little bits and pieces of during the game. And it doesn't do that great of a job of, like, it's that problem of like, it's a new world, there's all these characters, the game's throwing names at you, and you're sort of going, who are these people? I don't know them. So, that was a bit of an issue. Um, but other than that, you know, it was neat. The characters were good. Um, gameplay. I wasn't too much of a fan of it. Um, the powers are interesting. I really didn't make use of all of them. Uh, there was abilities which was like drain blood from everyone around you. I don't think I ever use that. Or drain blood from one target. It's easy to pop them on the head with some ace and drink their blood then. Um, there was other abilities, the lightning storm one I never used. Part of the problem was because it used up a lot of mana. And the shield spell was just much better. Yeah, there's Tony J. I recognize him from other games. Um, so that was a bit of an issue um, hitboxes that was another problem um, I was never really sure whether I was hitting the targets or not occasionally it sounded like enemies had a hurt noise when I hit them like a little Ugh, grunt but that was quite quiet compared to other things Copy and what? What the heck? I didn't catch that. <laughs> Coffee guy or something? Um, yeah, the hitbox is up with awkward. Uh, if the enemies did something like in Legend of Zelda, where you hit them and they get knocked back, or they got stunned briefly, it would help a lot. Um... There was how some ranged attacks went through walls. Was a bit of a pain as well. Coffee time. Oh, right, yeah. Uh, something like that. Um, where it's just... I never felt like I was playing the game very efficiently, that I was using the shield to just walk through things. But that was partly because I felt like out of all my options, that was the best way for me to be able to maintain my health and mana. If I stopped and attacked the enemies by using all the spells, I would either be lower on health because I was getting hit more often. There is a magical up. Or I was getting lower on mana because I was using my spells a lot and not making as much progress. So, yeah. It's not a bad game. It plays... I mean, I did finish it. <laughs> so, it's got that going for it. Um... I that sounds harsh. I think I've said what I mean what I mean there really. So it's a fine game. I would say maybe using a scale out of ten. For me personally, like a six point five seven out of ten. Uh 7.5 maybe the story is great the music's really good the characters are interesting the gameplay i'm just not very much of a fan of and that's fine there is a map it's and again it's really just like small things just like tightening it up maybe make the enemies have stun when you hit them um and like lessen the amount of like getting knocked around by traps because i get like bounced back and forth between them frequently that was a bit of a problem. So yeah. Gameplay, especially combat, is very jank. At the end of the credits, Copy Guy is yelled out. According to Chris Bruno, Dennis Dylak apparently screamed this out every time he spotted the catering truck in the parking lot. The game did have a degree of charm to it with 
it being made by a small development team i was positive in one of the dialogue lines i could hear a car uh, a car honking its horn in the background um like it'd been recorded in a room at the studio um <laughs> there is which a... is which was kind of amusing so yeah um oh does it keep a track of your uh these oh i guess it you have to like check it during the game yeah here's all the cutscenes again like the story seemed interesting i don't know if the cutscenes did as good of a job as they could have uh, actually explaining what was going on i knew like what we were doing and generally why but the broader scale of things i never really understood so yeah and there's our score we did all that in just over a month we were quite busy. Became very powerful over a month. So yeah, that is a uh, Blood Omen: Legacy of Cain. Um, I, I guess I'll. That means at some point I have to get to Soul Reaver, um, which again I, pretty sure I played a demo of briefly. It's like a third-person action platformer. Um, uh, with Razael. But, uh, I don't know anything else about it other than that. And the later ones I know even less about, because... I never played it. <laughs> Crystal Dynamics is not a company which I played any of the games of. Not even Tomb Raider. I killed about 60 people per day. Stamina is impressive. Yeah, yeah, for a vampire, he really doesn't have to go back to his coffin and rest every now and then. Um... I can see why people like this. It had a lot of atmosphere to it, which was nice. Um, especially for, like, a game where you play as a vampire and you get all these cool abilities as well as transformation abilities and you're able to roam around the world and, like, go through towns and talk to people and disguise yourself and all that. That's cool. That's neat. It could go maybe a bit deeper into some of that aspects. I never really felt the need to disguise myself, um, because there was never really any need to talk to people. Uh, whenever I tried, they either didn't say anything or they just said gener generic stuff. So it felt like there was uh, things which they developed, which had idea, which were planned to be expanded on further. Um, but they had to cut back a fair bit um, in development. Uh, like some of those towns, like you went to the cities and they're pretty much like, a single path through them and there's a lot of houses which don't really serve a purpose even the ones which you can go into um there was that like beggar in one town who like said you know oh you took your time to talk to me there'll be other people who can talk to you if you take your time to, sort, to seek them out but i don't think i ever found anyone else like that who was interested in talking to me. So. Hmm. Anyway. Well, thank you very much for joining. And uh, I hope you'll join me again uh, next time. For whatever I'm able to come up with.